My name is Aaron Joseph Harper, and I'm from Rochester, New York. What I wanted to do when I grew up was uh, to become a fighter pilot in the Marine Corps. During uh, my deployment to Desert Storm, the uh, Iraqis were close enough to us, and they would launch 16-foot-long missiles at us, or rockets. And during one of those attacks, I ruptured a disc in my lower back and wound up being in a wheelchair. When I was told that I would have to be medically retired, it was, it was really devastating. I, I didn't know how to handle that news. I got to change my, my dream. And how do you do that, you know? How do you just come up with a new dream? About five years ago, Carolina's healthcare system didn't have a veteran strategy. I, I got tasked with trying to figure out how to um, put this in place for this massive healthcare system. We had to determine what were our shortcomings. And one of our shortcomings was not having the ability to translate skills. The first thing I told them was, you need to hire an NCO, a non-commissioned officer. Because if you want to build something and execute on something, it is the non-commissioned officer in the military setting that actually does the work. Ultimately, ended up hiring Aaron Harper, a Marine Corps NCO. What I do for Carolina's healthcare system, I'm the manager of military and veterans affairs. Our job is to help you bridge that military experience and then use it to your advantage into the civilian corporate sector. There, there is a pretty big adjustment. So you go from getting shot at or not getting shot at to coming here and normal life, so to speak. We're, we're providing that hope. Here's the next chapter. Aaron knows the culture of Carolina's healthcare system and he's able to find those intersections for the veteran and for Carolina's healthcare system. For Marine Corps, you'd say logistics. Here we say materials management. So a lot of it's just translating the word. What else did you do as an officer? Were you in charge of people? Did you have a budget? Let's take those skills too. Let's make sure that this is a whole packet because we can certainly use your skills. We just gotta get a rewrite on it. I met Sergeant Ben Bruckheimer in 2006 when we were deployed. We were in Baghdad together. He was a, a surgical technician. I was an orthopedic trauma surgeon, so we worked together. September 13th, 2009, my very first IED took me out of the fight. And unfortunately, I ended up on the OR table instead of being on the side of it. It wasn't for a few years later that I finally something just flipped in my head where I look at things at a whole 180 from then now. I actually recruited him to come here with Aaron Harper's help with Human Resources here to come on in and uh, work with us here in the operating room. The teamwork concept of CHS welcomed him in and really made him part of the team. I love the rush of feeling patient come crashing in and all hell's breaking loose, but you're mentally prepared for it. You know what to do because you've done it so many times before. So it's good to give back and feel like I have a mission again or a purpose. The National Economic Council says that healthcare in the United States is going to be short a million jobs. And here we have a bunch of military medical professionals with decades of combat experience who are coming out of the military. They're getting pushed into jobs that they're way overqualified for. And so Carolina's looked at this and said, we want people who can operate in a complex environment because that's what healthcare is. Well, who better than military veterans? These are the type of people that we want solving problems with us. We want to take advantage of the leadership skills that you have, those things that you learn. I can deal with stress. I can deal with multi-parts moving at the same time. I can deal with hundreds of people on the field and keep them safe. So I want that here. I want that out of anybody here. The mission in the Marine Corps, you know, take care of our country. The mission for here, to take care of our patients and our teammates. As I work with other employers that recognize veterans, it's about respect respecting service and respecting sacrifice and providing them an opportunity to continue to serve at the highest level. The new dream now is that you know, I get to help military members and veterans and their families. I get to be a part of that. That's dream B, dream part two. I get to live it. <laughs>